Windows 11 break involved, like Windows 10 meets Mac OS. It's anything but a deficient glance at Microsoft's next OS, however. Subsequent to fiddling with the, presently scandalous, Windows 11 break for a few hours, I've arrived at an astonishing determination, it closely resembles Mac OS. Presently listen to me, Windows 11, in any event in this early form we're taking a gander at, is essentially a cleaned up variant of Windows 10. It has a portion of the enhancements we were hoping to find in Windows 10X, however since I'm really encountering it, I'm getting some genuine Mac flows. The most clear contrast is the new focused taskbar. It works like it has since Windows 95, lodging the start menu button, dynamic applications, and your selection of alternate routes. In any case, it's all symbols now I can't discover any choices to show window names in the taskbar. That is something Microsoft has been attempting to push throughout recent years, yet as a local Windows client, I've generally dismissed it. I've favored knowing precisely what an application or window held before I tapped on the taskbar symbol. Following a couple of hours however, I've become accustomed to the Windows 11 execution. Truly, it's just about compelling you into the default way Windows 7, 8, and 10 dealt with the taskbar. Very much like previously, drifting over an application symbol shows you its open windows. The focused look makes all that look a smidgen more like the Mac OS dock, which was in every case just centered around application symbols. It's a little change, yet combined with eliminating taskbar names, it's anything but far towards making the interface look more clean. In case you're a Windows fanatic, don't stress, you can likewise push the taskbar to one side of the screen. Actually, however, I burrow the default focused methodology. It adjusts the visuals in the event that you've just got a couple applications open, and I think that it's simpler to hit application easy routes without hauling my mouse right over to the base left of the screen. The Windows 11 hole likewise flaunts a patched up start menu, which makes certain to be disputable. Of course, it's anything but an assortment of stuck application easy routes, just as certain proposals. You'll need to hit the All Applications catch to see the remainder of the start menu. There are alternatives to show your as of late added and most utilized applications, yet those seem like leftovers from Windows 10, they don't really transform anything in the new start menu yet. Windows fans may laugh at any progressions to the start menu. All things considered, one of Windows 10's huge selling focuses was that it re-established that element to its previous greatness after Windows 8 fruitlessly attempted to sell us on a full screen start menu. In fact, however, the Windows 11 execution may bode well today. Like the new taskbar, everything's tied in with decreasing mess. I infrequently look through my whole Windows 10 start menu any longer, so having an enormous assortment of stuck applications is simpler to explore. Also, in case I'm truly in a hurry, I can in any case hit the Windows key and simply begin composing to rapidly look for an application. Microsoft is simply slipping us into a reality where we don't need to fish around the whole start menu. Microsoft likewise added a bright method to snap windows without hauling them by any stretch of the imagination. Presently when you float over the amplify symbol in the title bar, you'll see a drop down of potential snapping areas. You simply need to hit the one you'd prefer to get the window into position. Possibly I'm simply an over-the-top Windows geek, yet I think this component alone will in a general sense change the manner in which I work. I disdain physically resizing Windows, and I've generally discovered the auto-snapping highlight to be somewhat awkward. Truly, this is additionally a tremendous jump in front of Mac OS. 
For the entirety of its plan thrives, I've generally discovered window the board on Mac to be totally turbulent. Ordinarily, I've depended on Apple's expose highlight to travel through the entirety of my windows. Without its anything but, a Mac is only an agony. Past the taskbar, start menu, and application snapping refreshes, there are a couple of visual updates that modernize Windows 11. Window corners are marginally adjusted now, and there are invigorated symbols all through the OS. There's likewise another start up ring and a couple of other diverse framework sounds, yet nothing that feels really groundbreaking. In any case, it's ideal to see another Xbox application, which gives you direct admittance to everything on Game Pass and the standard Xbox social highlights. Gadgets are back also, however truly they haven't been too valuable in Windows. We're actually hanging tight for other significant changes, similar to the Reddit Microsoft Store that has been reputed. Up until this point, Windows 11 simply feels like a major Windows 10 update. I was even ready to redesign a current Windows 10 establishment without issue, and the entirety of my current applications turned out great. Yet, recall that we're taking a gander at an early break of the OS, one that I'm hearing is simply showing us segments of a deficient form. There will undoubtedly be a lot more highlights coming. However, on the off chance that Microsoft sticks with the center thought of cleaning up Windows and making it simpler to use, at any rate Windows 11 will not be another Windows 8.